How you doing there? Welcome back to Babylon Talmud. Today we're studying Daf Nunzayin, Daf 57, and we're in the Dharm, friends. Well, well, well. Daf 57 uh, talks about stuff n- related to Nadarim, and also can like new stuff be mavatal old stuff? What do you guys think? It's a super interesting question. If you're into super interesting questions, let's go right there. So the first Amud of the Daf is really um, just a Mishnah. So let's uh, do that. Okay, starting Daf Nizayin Amud Aleph all the way at the top. Konam Peris Ha'elu Olai. Ooh, wah, 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 wah. Okay, a uh, fellow says, makes a nether that he's not going to have uh, uh, fruits. The, these fruits, all right. Um, okay, where am I? Konam Peris Ha'elu Olai. Konam Hain Alpi, on my mouth. Konam Hain Lifi, to my mouth. Also be So you can't. Um, he's also from them, as well as if you swap them out for something else. Um, so I don't. Know, I guess maybe if like you sell them and then you have like money from them. I guess. We be as well as um, things that like if you plant them and then things grow from them. Shani um, shani If a fellow says that he's not going to eat it, he's not going to uh, taste it. Uh, so you can't taste these things or eat these things, but uh, if you swap them out or if you or if you plant them or whatever, so you can uh, benefit from those things. When do we say right? So if um wait what wait whoa, whoa, wait wait yeah that's exactly what I said right. That's right right exactly. So if he says sheani ochel v'shani ochel, so sheani toim, so he can't eat the stuff that he. I backed up a line. I'm sorry. Right. When he says shani ochav shani toim, so it is so he's also for these fruits, but the chilufein and the gedulein would be mutter. Now in the ratio, when we said peris konim peris elu alai konim ahim alpi konim heim lefi, also be chilufein and gedulein. That when we say that it's also for what you swap them out with and what grows from them, that is specifically bedavar shezra ukala that its seed ends. That I guess you know its seed like decom decom. Poses and I guess stuff grows. I guess I've a but if like I don't know the the thing doesn't decompose per se, dude. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a freaking like planter guy. Um, but I guess if the thing doesn't decompose or something, well then I feel could do like a do an asurd. Well then even um, you know, uh, not only if you plant them and and something grows from that, but even if you plant the next thing and something grows from that. So, like, uh, even that would be um, Oster as well. If it's something that the seed doesn't decompose. Home in the Ishto, fellow says to his wife, Konam Maise Yodai Cholai, that I'm making a Konam, that I'm not going to get any benefit from your uh, from your Maise Yodai, the stuff that you make. Konam Hey, now, P, I'm not going to eat them. Konam, well, I'm, they're not going to go on my mouth. Konam Hey, the feed, they're not going to go in my mouth. No, to my mouth. Also, so you, you can't benefit from. What you swap them out with, or um, or what grows from them, and the chiddush here is that even though right, he's not making his own right stuff also, he's making somebody else's stuff also to him. And okay, so we're saying also bechilufenim v'gidulein shani ochav shani toim. If he says he's not going to eat it or taste it, mutu bechilufenim v'gidulein. So he can't eat or taste these things, but uh, things that are swapped out or that grow from them would be mutter. V'davish is okala. When do we say that? Um, that um, that it's limited to chilufen and gedulein, but not kidule gedulein is um, something that the seed decomposes. Of all, davar she'ain zaru kole. But if the seed does not decompose, afilu gedule gedulein asurin, then even the gedule uh, gedulein would be um, asurin. Okay, fine. Um, okay, fine. Okay, the Ron makes a shtikol chilik between uh, the Rish and the Seifa, meaning because. Right, when in both the Rasha and the Sefer we say um, um, that it's specifically Bidavar Shizra Okale. So, what's the difference between the Rasha and the Sefer? So, he says, well, the, the Sefer is specifically saying when he says Elu, the Rasha is when he didn't say Elu, so that's the Chidisha of the Sefer. Okay, kind of technical. Shat Osa, Eni Ochel Ara Paisich, Shat Osa, Eni Miskas Ara Paisich. So, if he says that, I don't know, let's say it's Purim or something, and he says that whatever you make, I am not going to eat until Pesach. Good luck, brother. What do you do? Buy soup every day? That's what I do. Shat Ose, but it's not because I made a neder against my wife. I don't have a wife. So I just buy soup. 
<laughs> well, not to imply that. Let's go right there. Shatosa any ochel out of Pesach. So anything that you make, I'm not going to eat until Pesach. Shatosa any miskasa out of Pesach. Anything that you make, I'm not going to cover myself in until Pesach. Also solif ne Pesach mutulecho v'leskasa sacher Pesach. So whatever she makes before Pesach, he's permitted to um, eat and cover himself with after Pesach, right? Because he said only that he's not going to eat and cover himself with this stuff until Pesach. But after Pesach, he can. Shatosa out of Pesach any ochel. But if she said, if he says, whatever you make until Pesach, I'm not going to eat. What you make until Pesach, I'm not going to cover myself in. Well then, also so if Pesach, if she makes stuff before Pesach, also lecho v'leskasos acher Pesach. Well then, even after Pesach, he's not allowed to um, 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 uh, um, eat or cover himself in these things because in this case, he's basically saying anything that you make until Pesach, I'm, I'm, I'm never going to be eating or covering myself in. Shatnen is liyad Pesach. No, we've, um, we've, um, we've seen this before on Daf Tezvav. This was the Daf that my microphone completely spazzed on me and I had to re-record the entire Daf. It's a good thing I have this new microphone. It's, it's, uh, it was, the other one was getting a little finicky. Hopefully this one's working out okay. Um, anyways, so, uh, where are we? So yes, we saw this on Daf uh, Tezvav. So, Shat Nenis Liad Pesach, Imoleches At Leves Ovich Are Chog. You hear that? He says to his wife, If you go to your father's house between now and Sukkis, right? So let's say it's Purim, and he says, If you go to your father's house between now and Sukkis, you can't get any benefit from me between now and Pesach. So if at any point between now and Sukkis, you go to your father's house, then retroactively, I mean, well, or if you go before Pesach, then it kicks in immediately, as we'll see in a second. But, but basically, if at any point between now and, 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 and Sukkot, you go to your father's house, so then you're not allowed to get benefit from me from now until Pesach. Hal chalifne Pesach. So if she goes to her father's house before Pesach, right, well then certainly Asur ben also out of Pesach, then certainly, um, the rest of the time until Pesach begins, he's not, she's not going to be allowed to get benefit from uh, him, because he said, if you go to your father's house at any point between now and Sukkot, you can't get benefit from me between now and Pesach. So if she ends up going to her father's house before Pesach, so in Mele, uh, when she gets back, she won't be able to get any benefit from him until Pesach starts. So I guess if they went together, then I guess from the time that she goes to the father's house, she can't get any benefit from uh, from 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 her husband. Now, if after Pesach, i.e. sometime between Pesach and Sukkot, she goes to her father's house, well then, if she got ben- if she got benefit from him between now, which in our example is Purim, and Pesach, then she would be in violation of the law of Bal Yochul Dvar. If he says, you can't get any benefit from me between now and Pesach. if you go, right, again, let's say it's Purim, and he says, if you go to your father's house between now and Pesach, well, then you can't get any benefit from me all the way until Sukkot. If she goes um, to her father's house before Pesach, well, then she can't get benefit from him all the way until Sukkot. Now, if she went to her father's house before Pesach, and now this thing kicks in, and she can't get any benefit from him until Sukkot, well, okay, the thing already kicked in. She can now go to her father's house again as many times as she wants. Kilu, you know, what? the whole thing was, don't go to your father's house. You know, if you avoid going to your father's house, then then you can get benefit from me. Once she goes to her father's house, then whatever uh, 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 ramifications there are, already are ram- ramificating. And... Uh, and so at this point, she can go to her father's house as many times as she'd like. Friends, let's look at the Gemara. Ha'omer le'ishto konim ma'ise yadayich olay konim in alpi konim in lefi v'chulei. I'm not exactly sure what the what does the Gemara that's coming up have to do with this again exactly. I don't know. Maybe we'll figure it out. But anyways, uh, he said in the Mishnah, if he says to his wife that uh, you can't, you know, I'm not going to get any benefit from your stuff that you make, well then, um, all right, then he's also, right, Now, this is, oh, maybe because of Gidulim, that, right, that's why it's Shaykh, because of uh, the Gidulim, the things that grow from them. 
Now we're going to get into a very interesting Shiloh, a very, very interesting Shiloh. As I mentioned in the Mishnah without actually getting into any details. Very, very interesting Shiloh. Maybe, maybe let's talk and just jump in and you'll experience how interesting it is uh, for yourselves. The concept of show, don't tell. You guys know about show, don't tell? Show, don't tell means uh, show it to me, don't tell it to me. <laughs> it means I could say whatever I want. I could say it's interesting from today till tomorrow. But if I don't demonstrate that it's actually interesting, so I'm going to lose my credibility. So let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna express, let, let's let the Gemara, let me show you the Gemara and then you can decide for yourselves if I'm credible to, um, um, describe something as being interesting or not. Yishmol ish kvar yomo, ve'amri lo ish kvar di yomo. Okay. Uh, this guy Yishmol, he's the man of the village of the sea. The man of the village of the sea. Surely. The man of the village of the sea. I could be okay with that. That could be a good restaurant name. A seafood restaurant. The man of the village of the sea. Dude, that's a good restaurant name. The man of the village of the sea. Shnikes. Friends, I just give you, I just give you this stuff for free, man. Go start a whole chain of restaurants, take over the world. All right. Let's go fight. The man of the, or maybe you call the chain the men of the. Yishmael <laughs> Ishkva Um So, Yishmael, the man of the village of the sea. Vamila Ishkva Diyama. Okay, whatever. Hela biyado bottle. Okay, Ichapterayin and onion. Friends, over the next two days, we're going to be hearing a lot about onions. So, Ichapterayin and onion. She akaru b'shvius. Now, what's interesting about this onion is that he harvested it in shmita. During the seventh year, he pulled it out of the ground. Unito b'shminis. But then, on the eighth year, right now it's the eighth year, he plants it. He planted it. This is an interesting shaila. V'ravu gidulav al ikaru. And now. It, in the eighth year, he puts it back in the ground and it's grown and it's grown and it's grown. And it turns out that the amount that the onion has grown during the eighth year ends up creating a majority to nullify the amount that had grown during the seventh year. And the question is now, is it considered a Shemitah onion or is it considered not a Shemitah onion? And does it have Kedusha Shviyas or not? Friends, you hear the Gemara? You hear the Kasha? So again, so Halabiyadu Botzel uh, 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 an onion that he harvested it during he uprooted it during the seventh year during Shemitah when he and then he planted it into the ground on the eighth year and then the amount that it grew in the eighth year created a rove relative a majority relative to what it had initially grown in Shemitah, and he wanted to know, Gidulov heter v'ikaro iser, so when it comes to, um, you know, so in this situation, what has grown is permitted, right, it doesn't have Kedusha Shviyas, because it's the eighth year, and the the initial thing that was planted in the ground the eighth year, for i.e. the initial thing that grew in the seventh year, was Kedusha Shviyas, and since the what it has grown, which is mutter, I don't know why it's saying mutter and also because kedusha shvius is also mutter. You just have to treat it properly. I mean, unless I'm missing something, but okay, we'll use the lashon of, of mutter and also. And so and since more the, right the, the stuff from the eighth year, the mutter stuff is more than the stuff from the uh, from from shmita. Oson gidule heter my linesa iser. So the mutter stuff that has grown during the eighth year should be able to be mavatol the kedusha shvius from the seventh year. Ola or not? Or do we say no? The you know this started out as a kedusha shvius onion. A kedusha shvius onion, it remains. That could be a good opening line to a novel. It began as a Kedusha Shviyas onion, 
and a Kedusha Shvius onion, it remained. I want to read that novel. Mm, yeah, I might. I, I might be interested in that novel. Uh, if it, it would have to be written really well. Because I, I guess I'd be a little skeptical. <laughs> Let's go by there. Uh, but oh, so the comment of Bami. So, um, so Yishmael, the man of the village of the sea, came to Rabami, the man of Tveria. I think Rabami lived in Tveria. Rabami and Rabasi are buried in Tveria. Yeah. Yeah. I know Lauren went to, I don't, Lauren, when did you go to the, uh, to the Kvarim in Tveria? I remember you went there. That was pretty gavaldic. I had been there a really, really long time ago. I haven't been there in a long time. There's some amazing people buried there. I think the Rambam's buried there. Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai. Uh, who else is buried there? Uh, I don't know. Well, I can't remember now. There's some Rabbi Yoshua, maybe? Some serious, serious, serious Tanoim buried there. Crazy. Okay. Uh, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? So he came before Bami. And Bami didn't know the answer to this. Uh, quandary? Okay. Also, the comment of Yitzchak Nafcha. So, uh, Yishmael, the man of the village of the sea, came to Yitzchak Nafcha. Poshat le min hado. And Yitzchak Nafcha answered from the following. The Omer Ebchanino Trito Omer Rebiane Botzel Shol Trume. Okay. So, if you have an onion, that is Trume. It's a Trume onion. You can't eat it. You have to give it to the coin. I mean, assuming you're not a coin, you can't eat it. It's Trume. Shenitao and you plant it. Viravu gidul of Ali Karo Motor. And now a hundred parts grew on the bottle, on the on the on the onion, right? Because right, um Truma is bottle a hundred parts to one. A hundred parts of Hulin to one part of Truma is Mavatal Truma. And now this onion has grown a hundred times, and it's Mavatal. The chume. So mutter. So now it's mutter. It's tevel. You have to separate the uh, chuma semisis, but, uh, but you can eat it, right? The chuma is no longer. Of course, it, you know, a czar who eats chuma, it's uh, misabide shamayim. But uh, if you are mavatal the chuma, well then, you know, uh, then it's just uh, uh, tevel. And you have to separate chuma again, but you can eat it, you know, and then you can eat it. Rabirmiya vitem rabzrika sha. I'm sorry. I'm the Rabbi Yirmiyah. Vitemer Rabbi Zirka. Now Rabbi Yirmiyah, some say Rabbi Zirka said to Rabbi Yitzchak Nafcha, "Shavik Mar Train Ve'Avid Kichad." So they said to Rabbi Yitzchak Nafcha, or he said, whoever it was, whether it's Rabbi Yirmiyah or Rabbi Zirka, said to Rabbi Yitzchak Nafcha, "I don't understand. You ignored two Amoraim who said that the growth would not be mavatol the Iker, and instead you hold like one Amora." Who said that the growth would be mavatal, the ikr, i.e., that the growth would be mavatal, the truma of the onion? Maninu train. Who are these two people that apparently Rabbi Yitzchak Nafcha is ignoring? This is a babo in the name of Rabbi Yochanan. Yaldo she simcha bizkena uva peris. Okay. So this gets into orla. Who can tell me what orla is? Orla is of course a fruit tree for the first three years you can't eat it now after that's not to revive for the fourth year okay so let's say you have an older tree an older tree that's no longer or you don't or you don't have to worry about any of this stuff you can eat the fruits so you have an older tree and then you have a younger tree that's less than three years old so it's uh, subject to oil you can't eat the fruits it's also bano i believe so now what you do now if you take a branch from that orla tree and it's got fruits on it so you can't eat the fruits, but you take a branch and you stick it into a older tree that you can eat. And now, even though the fruit increased by 200%, by, 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 by 200 fold, or a ratio of 200 to 1, after being stuck into the, law, into the older tree, and therefore maybe you can, right, so therefore, Right, when it's part of the older tree, the older tree, you can eat the fruits. And now you have this branch from a young tree, from an older tree that you stuck into an older tree that you, right, now the young tree, you cannot eat the fruits, the older tree, you can eat the fruits. 
And we're saying that this orla fruit that you cannot eat then increased in size by a ratio of 200 to 1 after being connected, being stuck into the larger, to the older tree. So therefore I can make the argument that since orla becomes bottle, becomes nullified when it's 200 parts to 1, well, I would say that, well, this is now 200 parts of the older tree versus the one part from the younger tree. And I would say that the orla should be bottle. And yet we're saying, that even though the fruit increased by a ratio of 200 to 1, nonetheless, it remains osir since it came from the, uh, f- from the orla tree. So we see that the rove is unable to be mavatal the ikr, that the new stuff is unable to be mavatal the ikr. From Rishmo ben Achman and Rabbi Yonasin, additionally, says Rishmo ben Achman and Rabbi Yonasin, Botzel, another onion, Shenito Becherim, that you planted in a vineyard, and therefore it's uh, Kerem Revai. No, what? No, therefore it's um, uh, Kilea Kerem. Therefore it's Kilea Kerem, which is, uh, I think, Asumido Rais. So you so you planted an onion in a vineyard. It's kilei akerim. It's kilaim. It's osir. Vinekar akerim. But then you uproot the vineyard. So now the 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 onion is still osir because it's kilei akerim because it was planted in the vineyard. But there's no longer a vineyard around, and therefore I could make the argument that if this onion now proceeds to grow and grow and grow and grow. To the extent that there's 200 parts of new growth to one part of initial growth of initial kilia kerim, I can make the argue, argument that the kilia kerim should be bottle by a ratio of 200 to 1, which is the ratio of nullifying kilia kerim. Orla and kilia kerim are a ratio of 200 to 1. But nonetheless, osir. Nonetheless, it's osir. Nonetheless, it's osir. So we just saw two examples by Orla and by kilia kerim. Where the additional growth and the addition, right, to, 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 to the ratio that would theoretically be able to be mavatal, the orla or the kilea kerim, is not being mavatal. So we see that the later growth is unable to be, to, 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 um, to nullify the initial amount. So the question is, why did Rabbi Yitzhak Nafcha assume that Yishmael, the man of the village of the sea, his fancy onion, that grew in the 8th year of Shemitah after having been uprooted in the 7th year of Shemitah. So if Yitzhak Nafka was assuming that, he, that, that the initial growth would be able to be mevatal, the, the, that, the, that the later growth would be able to be mevatal, the initial growth, right? That the growth of the 8th year would be able to be, to be mevatal, the growth of the 7th year. And yet we have these two statements from Rabbi, from, 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 from Rabbi Yochanan and from Rabbi Yonison that indicate that the new growth would be unable to be mavatal the initial state. Hadras the Kamid Reb Ami, now um, um, Yishmael, the man of the village of the sea, then went back to Reb Ami, Ufashid le and he agreed like Reb Yitzchak Nafchaz, right? Like Reb Yitzchak Nafcha and Reb Yanai, the Omar Reb the Omar Reb Yitzchak, Omar Reb Yochanan, that he uh, quoted Reb Yitzchak, the name of Reb Yochanan, Litra B'tzolim Shetikna, that if you have a, a measure of of uh, of uh, onions, shetikna, and you separated trumis and masris, you had right. You had this measure of onions, and you separated trumis and masris. Okay, so now you can eat it. Now it's cool, and you can eat it. Vizara, but then you planted it back in the ground. She had a whole bunch of onions. You separated trumis and masris. Now you can eat them. But then you put them back in the ground. And it grew. And now there's more onions. So you never actually ate those onions. You put them back in the ground. And now there's more onions. Misaceris the fikula. Well, now, they know, now you have to separate. Oh, wait. No, no, one second. This was talking about... Wait, one second. Give me a... Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. This is not Shemitah. I don't think this is talking about Shemitah. No, no, no. This is not Shemitah. No, no, no. So, so, okay, so, so you have these, um, onions, you separated true and masters, now you can eat them, you put them back in the ground, and they continue to grow more. And we're saying that the miser doesn't just come from the initial, from the, from the additional growth, it comes from the whole thing. So we see that the additional growth is able to nullify the original state. 
initially it was chulin. Initially you had already separated two mesemaisos, so it was chulin, you were allowed to eat it. But now when you put it back in the ground and it continued to grow, now you have to separate trumas and masters, not just from the growth, but from the whole thing. So we see that the, that the grow, the subsequent growth was able to be mavato, the initial state. Right? So we see that the additional growth is mavato, the initial state, and you separate trumas from all of it. So we, so, okay, so that's just like Rabbi Yana was saying, and it's in support of what Rabbi Tzlik said, which was Yishmael, the man of the village of the sea, his onion from the seventh year that he then planted again in the eighth year, and it grew, the growth of the eighth year should be able to be mavatal, the Kedusha Shvi is from the seventh year, just like the additional growth of the Chulin was able to require it to now separate the Chumas and from the whole thing, including the Chulin. So, and for the Gemara, the Melchumra shiny. To which the Gemara says that that later one isn't really a proof because we're being stringent, right? Meaning in this case, you have chulin. Chulin you can eat. You put it back in the ground and now it grows some more. As my father likes to say, gruesome. And then, and then, and then, um, so, so, so it grew some more. And now, um, and now we see that we're treating the whole thing, right? That the additional growth is being mavatal, the, the initial chulin, and I have to separate chuma and maestros from the entire thing. So in this case, saying that the, the, the additional growth is mavatal, the ikr, is actually a chumra, because now it's saying that you have to separate chuma and maestros, not just from the additional growth, but from the whole thing, including the stuff that you had already separated chuma and maestros. So we could say that in that case, where the additional growth is being mavatal, the ikr is a chumra, and that's why we say that that's the, the case. But it's not necessarily indicative that, let's say, in the c- case of Yishmael, the man of the village of the sea, with his onion from Shemitah, that he now is is asking about if the eighth year is going to be mavatal the Shemitah to allow him to eat, you know, to treat it as nakedusha shvius. Well, that's already a leniency, and we don't necessarily know uh, that that would be um, permitted. Friends, we're going to stop here, even though it's a shtickle in the middle. But you know, there really is not a good place to stop for a while, so we're going to. Um, hold it here for that nun zayin. Uh, interesting daf. It ended up being a shtickle involved. Um, so yeah, we talked about different uh, nethers and you know what's aser aser gidulein of gidulein gidulein of gidulein. Talked about if your wife says something is aser, or if you if you make something from your you know stuff from your wife aser on you. We talked about something that we talked about in daf tesvav right when. When your wife says, when you say to your wife, you can't get any benefit from me until Pesach, if, if you go to your father's house, that whole thing. Um, and then we got into this very, very interesting discussion that we are going to continue on uh, to tomorrow and even possibly to the next day. That uh, this question of when you have this new growth, how does it affect the initial growth, right? It, when, and it got kicked off by this um, question from... Yishmael, the man of the village of the sea, with his onion from the seventh year, which would have Kedusha Shvius, which he then replanted in the eighth year, and now there's additional growth. Can that additional growth be able to be mavatal, the initial um, um, status of Kedusha uh, Shvius? Uh, we saw some opinions that yes, it can be mavatal. We saw the opinion of Rabbi Yochan and Rabbi Yonasin that it cannot be mavatal, and, and we're, and we're, and we're, we're going to be trying to ultimately give examples that it can be mevatel, and that's going to um, take a continue on to tomorrow's daf. Friends, I hope you enjoyed. Daf Nunzayin and Masech Peace out.